is changing now, things are evolving, and language does evolve and does change. As long as you're speaking the language, as long as you're able to converse and pass on the ideas and concepts and things like that, that to me, I think, is really important. If we lose it here in our country, we can't go to another community or a country to learn the language. The homeland of the language, that's where we have to keep it. I think it's important for um, communication with the elders because um, elders feel that um, there's no communication with the youth, with the younger people, because they, there's a language barrier. And there's a communication gap and not speaking the language and not um, hearing the language. He said that it's very lonely. Some mentor and apprentice we had as a couple, they did the program not with only the mentor and apprentice, but then they included their children. The language uh, starts at home. It was a little bit hard for me to come with the idea that I don't really know this person and we're going to have to work so closely together for four months. But because we're both coming at it with such a love for the language and a really distinct purpose of learning how to speak in order to revitalize this language and to create more speakers, we had kind of this common goal and just through that instantly it brought us together. Like our first session together was like we'd known each other for years. At least I felt that way.